Welcome to Squeakies. <laughs> This is Alicia with Sweet Peas again, and we're back for a simple video, okay? And um, it is the video of how to do chocolate strawberries in different colors. I have a client that is wanting strawberries today for a baby shower for uh, a theme that is basically different shades of pink. So I have my berries already prepped and clean in the strainer over there. I have my favorite candy milk that I like to use. I'm also going to be using a glass bowl um, to melt the chocolates down because I've not had a great experience with plastic bowls and warming up chocolate. I think the glass bowls conduct heat better, of course, uh, because of what it is. Being glass, it does spread the heat evenly through that chocolate, and I don't have any clumps or curls in the chocolate, and it does melt smooth. And then I also have my color of choice on the corner of that table that we're going to be gradually adding the pink into. So we're going to start with a soft pink, like a blush pink, and gradually increase. Now beware when you use color and you're making your own colored candy melts, the deeper the dye with some of these colors, like pink and purple, uh, you do taste the dye. So at some point, I'm going to have to kind of cap off the coloring. Uh, to where our clients are not going to taste a hard pink dye um, But all in all it'll still be a real pretty deep pink I'll probably do a couple of deep pinks just a few with some extra berries so that way you can just kind of Enhance the colors in her boxes that she receives today, but not many because again I don't want her to have a hard hard dye uh, flavor on those berries. So the berries are running pretty decent. They are fairly big and then there are some that are small. So when that happens, I normally typically add an extra dozen to the order for free or if I can't get a dozen as much as I can um, to make up for the small berries that they have. It's a hit and miss right now with the stores so we want to make sure that we give them their money's worth and that we're just not making money on our clients and not considering them uh, with their products. So we want to give them the best service. So for us, that means that we're going to make up for what they're lacking, which in this case is the size of the berries. As you see, the berries on the top look pretty big, but the berries underneath, some of them are really small. So I went on and added an extra dozen to enhance the amount that she gets. So instead of four dozen this morning, she's going to be receiving five dozen. Um, and then that way she won't be out of any nice size berries or any berries for her guests today for the shower. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and melt this chocolate down. And as you watch, you'll see that I'm gradually adding colors. Um, and then from there, we'll probably do a little glitter to kind of enhance a couple of them and make them really pop for her. So I hope you guys like, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so anytime that you see me doing this throughout the video, I'm basically drying off the berries. They're still a little damp from being washed off. Um, I'm drying them off so that way it won't make the chocolate curdle. Uh, once that water hits the chocolate, it's going to eventually seize and it won't be any good for you. So uh, if you notice me doing this on and off between the video, that's why, especially when we get into the middle and the bottom. So all I'm doing right now is prepping a good bit of berries to where I could just kind of work and grab from that pile. Everything has been sanitized, sterilized, and laid out with wax paper so that way we can work off of one area in our workstation. Uh, and again, just kind of focus on, notice the, the progression of color. We're gonna do uh, starting off with one drop at a time and then I'll go to two, three, four, and then towards the end of the video, you'll see me just kind of dumping more without measuring because at that point, I've already got all the lighter tones that I wanted. So again, if you see this, this is just me keeping my chocolate from being um, seizing or curdle looking or going on the berry and sliding off. It's a couple of things that can happen um, from doing that. So that's the reason why we're actually, or I'm actually drying off the berries uh, so many at a time.
Okay, so mentally I made a note that I would like to do about nine berries per shade. Okay, and then in my mind, I'm thinking it's easier to organize the berries as I dip them. So the progression actually starts from the top of the table to the bottom of the table. And then I don't know, um, at some point, once I get to the bottom of the table, uh, I run out of space and I end up kind of filling up the sides. But by that point, I kind of know where I'm going as far as the color progression. So if you notice, um, I'm going to actually do another time lapse part of this video because it's, it's a very lengthy video um, but it is about two drops and then we progress to three again it's a progression of drops of color and when you're mixing color with chocolate you never use a regular color you always want to get an oil based color to mix chocolate if not it will actually seize your chocolate so right here we're going to start adding um, of course throughout I might have had a couple of extra accidental drops of color but that's okay for the most part we progress from one drop at a time to two to three and then so on and so forth but again i decided about nine berries per shade and it actually really worked out um, in the end Okay, now we're starting to get into more of a rosy pink. We're moving from the light blush to a little deeper blush. We're still in that blush vibe, you know, uh, our zone, but for the most part, to me, I would say this is more of like a rose pink. Uh, so as the rose pink is applied, it actually is very beautiful. So right here, I had to actually adjust my camera. I'm sorry, guys, because I started running out of room from the top of the table. To show you the progression but this is my favorite part because this is when the deeper pinks start coming into play and it's so beautiful Okay, look at how gorgeous and rich looking this pink is. It's coming into the darker shades. And look at how pretty the chocolate is. The more we stir it, it's like it's tempering the chocolate. So it's getting a more of a sheen the more we work with it. So, and if you notice the berry sizes have increased for the most part, I tried to save all the smaller berries for the, the lighter colored chocolates. So um, we left the bigger berries for the darker shades, which I thought was a pretty cool progression in itself. Hey everybody, as you can see, we have everything fully colored. We have different shades of pink from basically a blush pink to a deep in close to hot pink. I didn't want to bring the pink too deep because again, you don't want to have that nasty, horrible dye flavor. 
and pink and purples sometimes reds depending on what brand of color that you use can taste really heavy and dye so i kind of kept it at this particular shade of pink right here so this is about the darkest that i wanted it i did a few like that and then a shade up from it okay so they all turned out really beautifully i think um as you can see i now have a brush that is bought specifically for my baking okay you can get a makeup brush from any department store whether cvs walmart or whatever my hands have been washed already so we're ready for the next phase okay and then we also have a small little bowl of water it's pretty full so i'm not gonna move fast on that one but this is going to be to place our glitter on some berries i don't want to do too much glitter i want to do just enough to where she has a couple of berries in each box that'll really pop and really make her theme stand out. So I've ordered two different color pinks. I actually have a ton of pink in my stash. If I was to pull out the amount of pink that I have and the amount of edible glitters that I have, I think you guys would be so, so overwhelmed and impressed all in the same time and just outdone because it's ridiculous. Um, so I have a really pretty pink rose color. I don't know if you can really see it's really light looks like a baby pink and then this one is a electric pink which is going to go or overlay on the deeper pink berries probably these right here okay and then maybe one of these and it's just going to enhance the color neither of the pinks are going to stand out in a huge way it's just going to kind of give it an iridescent uh, look on your berries so don't look for this color to be on your berries 100% it's just going to again enhance the pink that you have so my particular favorite is the electric pink and then this will be my first time using the pink rose i've used other pinks like baby pink but this one is the first time using this so i'm actually going to apply this one to some of the pink blush berries to kind of enhance it and throw a different realm of pink inside of her order so just to kind of give her a little mix after that you're going to see me do some drizzle which i've already laid out my pink chocolate i kept the darker pink for my pink drizzle and then you'll see me drizzle some of the medium shade pinks with the darker pink and that's just going to make everything pop okay so we're into the next portion of the video which is going to be the decorating and hope you guys like it pay attention to everything that i do again i'll list the brands that i use in the bottom of the video uh section in the comments so that way you can actually see what to get if you're interested for yourself or if you just want to do a little artwork for yourself on these berries these are the better brands that i'm i'm actually enjoying over others so again we're going to start off first lighter pink and then what you're not going to see me do is to actually wash my brush afterwards because you don't want to mix up your pink so i'm going to go rinse it and wash it off thoroughly after i use this one and transition to this one and lastly, again, we're gonna do our drizzle and then we'll be done. And then I'll show you how we box it and the final product.
Okay, so this is the electric pink glitter. Um, this one actually turned out better than I thought against this type of pink. So if you're gonna do electric, make sure it lays over a darker pink. So that way you can actually get the glitter color. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick before we continue to do more electric pink bears. We're gonna do a couple more. Make sure we don't wipe out the bare ones because I do like the progression of color on the regular ones. But I just wanted you to see up close how beautiful it turned out. Okay, so last step besides packaging. I just had to warm this bag of chocolate up because it did seize up in the end. So don't freak out. Don't think that you have to throw it away. You just put it in your microwave, nuke it for a little bit, and then massage the bag very gently and make sure that it mixes in. So that way the heat from the middle part of the bag will actually do its job as if it's still in the microwave to the tip, okay? We're gonna cut off this little bitty section on the tip to make some fine, elegant drizzles. We don't want any big floppy drizzles. We don't want anything that looks like it's just plopped on top of the strawberry. <laughs> I've seen those too. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it gently and elegantly. Okay, so a steady hand and there you go. Okay, nothing chunky, right? <laughs> Excuse my son in the background. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the drizzle, and then after that, we'll let that dry and get everything packaged and show you guys the finished product. I'm very excited because I think these are awesome. It's an amazing progression of pinks, and I'm hoping our client loves it, and she gives us five stars. So let's get started. And here they are, the finished product. Each box has a different progression of pinks and I'm in love from the lightest blush to the electric pink. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Sweet Peas Life, and also to follow us on all of our avenues, which I'll have below the video. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed the video. It was lengthy, but I hope it helped.